Hey guys, it's Kevin. Today we're going to talk about how to add an ink tank to Canon printer that has 280 cartridge. So it's a PGI 280, CLI 281. And we're going to use this TS6330 as an example. Your final result will look like this. You have a big tank on the side, and the tank will supply the cartridge. So you don't have to replace any cartridge. The reason it's going to work is because uh, 280 cartridges doesn't need to reset the chip. You can see the cyan, and uh, it has a half a tank. And then after after you deplete it, it becomes uh, the cross symbol. You can see the black and the yellow uh, has that uh, uh, cross mark. And uh, then after that, and uh, you can turn off the ink monitor. After you turn it off, you can see the M and the PGBK, they are uh, grayed out. And uh, when it's grayed out, the, uh, the printer doesn't track the ink level anymore. So you can just see how much ink left in the external tank uh, rather than to check the ink, uh, uh, ink level. So that's very ideal for uh, CS. You can see, uh, even with the uh, with uh, ink monitor turned off, I can print normally. Oh, by the way, you cannot turn it off right now because uh, you haven't pr printed enough pages. So eventually, what you want is uh, something look like this. You see, almost all the ink uh, turned off except uh, the BK, and uh, the printer still printing. I'm going to. Put a link to a video above that shows you how to turn off the ink monitor, how to deal with the different errors, and uh, how to refill it. Uh, so we don't have to recover, we don't have to cover it again here. And uh, refill those cartridges are extremely simple. Just flip over and uh, drip ink on it until it's saturated. So why we still want to do a uh, CIS? We want to hook up with the ink tank because uh, we don't want to refill this cartridge every 100 pages. We want to refill only probably once every 2,000 pages or 1,000 pages. Um, therefore, we don't really need to do a complete CS for every single color. Not every cartridge uh, needs to be hooked up like this. So in this video, I'm going to just do four simple colors. I'm going to do the black, sand, uh, don't confuse it with the photo black, okay, sand, and uh, magenta, and the yellow, so four colors. So even you have a five color printer, uh, you can still only do four colors on this five color printer. Two, so we don't have a package has everything. Uh, instead, uh, you can go to bchtechnologies.com and uh, go to printer modifications, Canon, the whole printer. And uh, find a bracket. Uh, for example, this is five color bracket for P for 280 and uh, 281. And if you scroll down, there's kind of suggested thing. So you may want to add a add a ink to it. And uh, we need to pick up a elbow and a plug set. Our printer is white, so we pick up a white tank, four color tank. And then important is that we need a priming kit. So without the ink, this is how it looks like. We need a bracket, we need a elbow and plug, and we need a ink tank, and we need a priming kit. This is what a tank and a bracket look like. An elbow and sleeves. Other than that, you need a flathead screwdriver or like butter knife, and some kind of heating source, such as a stove, uh, torch. Also, if you don't want to get uh, ink everywhere, you need a pair of gloves. And uh, another thing very important to have is uh, the protective clips. And uh, for those, go to accessories and uh, go to storage protective clip. Based on how many, uh, based on how, how many cartridges you, you, you have, you will want uh, a big one and uh, pick up, also pick up a couple small ones. Uh, when you pick them up, make sure that clip is for PGI-280 or CLI-281. To free the printhead, you can turn on the printer, then turn it off when you see the printhead is moving, or you can just uh, turn this wheel counterclockwise a couple times. For the cartridge, you can use uh, 
those refillable cartridges, or you can just use the OEM cartridge, either startup or Excel or whatever uh, cartridge that works. Let's put the silicon pad on the protective clip first. And for the cartridge, put a tab inside that hole and uh, then press it down in the front. And let's see it again. And uh, pad, loop, press. For the OEM cartridge, we need to seal the air hole. The air hole is where the air breathes when it prints. So uh, it's normally in the middle of the cartridge, and uh, then it has air channel go all the way to the front and uh, form a, a Y in the front. So we can just peel this label off. And there's another hole on the top. It's the refill hole. That's where the cannon fill the, fill the cartridge. And uh, it's normally blocked by a, a plastic ball. So let's uh, expose that. So we're going to fill one hole and uh, open another hole. So let's use the uh, super glue to glue this hole shut. Uh, you can use uh, like a uh, hot glue or like uh, uh, or just use your hot iron just uh, to heat shut the, the hole. You can put some soap water there and uh, then just squeeze the side. Make sure there's no air bubbles coming out. That means it's airtight. The refillable cartridge air hole is like this, and we do the same thing. Glue the shot or use heat to shut it. To open the refill hole, you can you can push the ball in, or if you have a handry or something, and you can drill drill through it halfway and just poke it out. I don't want to sell you another tool which you already have, so I'll just put a link here if in, in case you need it. Uh, try to put a sleeve in this hole. If you find uh, the hole is uh, not deep enough or you have resistance, and uh, just use uh, a pair of scissors, enlarge the hole a little bit. The sleeve should fit in into the hole completely. Those small plugs, they are called the shipping plugs. Uh, when you move the printer, for example, you're going to put it in a car or like uh, move it around, uh, you'll plug it. But in the normal operation, do not plug the small plug. The big plug is need to be plugged. The big plug is the refill plug. So we look at uh, the printer and uh, the first tank, the tube is on the bottom. So we're going to mark that tube. Just uh, get a permanent marker and mark it. Mark it when it comes out, and mark the mark it at the end. We'll use some double-sided tapes and to glue the tank on the printer, and we'll put it in the back a little bit. The tube is gonna run on top of this uh, top of this bar, so uh, we're gonna make a hole on the outside, and I'll uh, put a tube in. And we need some double-sided tape to glue the tube on this bar. So roughly divide the printer in the middle, and uh, you need to glue all the way to the middle. Move the carriage all the way to the left. Then uh, make sure your tube is tight, but also uh, the printhead has to be able to touch the left side and uh, mark where you want the tube comes in. So I already marked the first uh, first uh, tube so I know which color is, is it. And uh, use the uh, bracket as a template and decide how long you want the tube to be. So it will be set on the printhead like this. And uh, I only need this much tube, so I cut it and uh, put uh, the elbow on it. Then what we'll do for the other colors? Uh, remember the second one is empty. We're not uh, because we only got the four tubes, so we're gonna skip the photo black. Now we can fill the first tank, and uh, then put the refill plug back, and then just repeat it and fill all the co all the colors. 
when you close the tank, make sure you dip the tank and make all the ink flow to the bottom and then close it. And here's a little trick. So if you push the sleeve like this, the sleeve will probably going to fall in and uh, then you have to buy another sleeve. You want to put half of the sleeve on the uh, elbow and uh, then insert it into the, the, uh, into the cartridge. And now we can take, a, take out our priming clips. So put the uh, front in, inside and then press the, uh, press the back, the tab will lock. And we can insert a syringe to the hole on the bottom. You can see every time I draw, it just remove air from the cartridge. And uh, you're going to see the ink flow in from the tube and uh, fill the bottom of the cartridge. Uh, for the OEM cartridge, you can now see uh, how much ink is in the cartridge. So uh, basically, you stop when uh, whatever you draw, it just ink coming out, no more air comes out. For each cartridge, you finish priming and put the protective clip back right away. After you finish priming, then, then you just remove all the protective clips and uh, put the cartridge in the printer. and. Uh, uh, I, I like to glue the uh, the bracket on the uh, on the cartridge. So just put a double sided uh, tape on it, and uh, then and uh, then uh, press the tube in, and then you can power on the printer and uh, take a look. And if you see this air five one zero zero about a foreign object, and that because your printhead cannot move freely inside the printer. So let's say it touched the left side, but it cannot go to the right side because here it got stopped. And uh, the reason is that those elbows are too high. And uh, then there's a piece of plastic stop, the, stop it going to all the way to the right. Remember, you have four elbows. And uh, so make sure each one of them can fit underneath that piece of plastic. I will take some tries and uh, some uh, basic troubleshooting and uh, then make sure the uh, carriage can move freely inside the printer. And after that, you can just close the cover and uh, you can start printing. Again, uh, you cannot turn off the chip at any time. So, for example, for example, for Sun, you have to keep printing and printing and printing until one day you get this error. It gives an OK as an option. So you just press OK. And then you'll see the cyan has a red cross next to it. And keep printing and printing and printing. Uh, I give you this screen, this error, it doesn't have a OK as option. So I just press and hold down that orange triangle, just hold down to it until it disappears and it goes back to pruning. After the second error without the OK button, and, and after you've done that, and the ink level will be grayed out, and uh, the printer doesn't keep track of ink level anymore. So you just keep an eye on the big tank. Uh, whenever the ink is low, just add more ink. Uh, for the colors that I didn't, I didn't put uh, the, the tank on, uh, such as a uh, photo black and uh, the uh, photo blue, uh, I, I just refill it like uh, once a year or once a half a year. I uh, don't care about those colors too much because mostly I do the office printing with this printer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnology.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers. Oh, <laughs>